Hey cuties! So today I'm going to be doing a what's on my iPad video. I have been asked to do this since the first day I got my iPad, which has been about a few months. I don't have a ton of things on here. I kind of just use it for watching YouTube videos, planning my YouTube videos, writing down all my ideas for them, and occasionally some games and surfing the net and stuff. So this probably won't be too interesting, but you guys really want to see it, so here you go. So we'll start off with the iPad. This is the iPad Mini 2. <laughs> and the case I have on it, oh, there's like something on it. I got this at Claire's. Claire's is like my go-to for cartoony, fun, cheap phone cases, iPad cases, iPod cases. So when you open my iPad like this, it might be a little hard to see because my background is quite dark. It's a shadow of Shugzy. So he was sitting on the bed with us and I think we were shining the flashlight onto the wall and then this is the shadow that was on the wall. So this is what you see when you open my iPad. I have a background of Amy Winehouse here. You guys know that I love Amy Winehouse. She is everything. Down here I have kind of like my most used and that's YouTube, camera, Pinterest, and Safari, so the internet. This is what I use the most on this iPad, this app right here. This one here is work with some cactuses. And this is all the stuff that I use for my videos. So I have Planner Plus, this is the number one app besides YouTube that I use. This is what it looks like. So it tells you the things I have planned for the day. And then when you go to month, it tells you what I'm going to film or post. I do all my filming days in here. I really haven't been using this in December, but in kind of like all the other months, I use it as you guys can see. This is an awesome way to keep organized. You can cross off the item when you're done doing it. And I do like that it is multicolored down here. Now we have notes. This is how I jot my ideas down for videos. I use this a lot. Now we have a calculator. I wanted to download a nice one. So this was called Pretty Calculator. So this is the one that I use the most, the pink leopard one. But if you just swipe over, there are different, I use this one a lot too. But then I got bored of it because I use it so much. Then we have a currency exchange app. I'm constantly buying things from the States so I wanna know how much money is in the States to Canada to all these other places. This updates, I think it's like every minute. There's a countdown right here and it updates every minute so you're getting the exact actual rate of that minute. All right, next we have this category right here. It's called games. I bring this a lot on road trips or trips in general when we're just like waiting to get to the place. One of my favorite ones is Word Bubbles. Uh, basically, I'll click play. We have done six categories and in each category, I think there's like a hundred levels. And when I say we, I mean me and Dalton, we both. Yeah, we play that one a lot when we're on road trips. So basically what you do, there is this many letter words, this many letter words, and this many letter words, and you have to find them in here and they have to be Connected. Feel? Whoops. Feel? No. Right. Actually, it could be opt. Life. File. Oh. Okay, so then there's Panda Pop. Okay, so it's just a basic. A lot of games have this style of popping bubbles, but for me, I played. Oh my god, and I can't even remember the name of it, but I'm probably putting the annotation up here when I was seven, so that means 1997. For me, that was the original. I don't know if it was actually the original. I like the original game better. It's more interesting instead of just like clicking. This is when you just click where you want the bubble to go. In the other one, you push the lever back and you throw it so it's more skill, I'd say. Okay, then we got this one that I play a lot and it's what's the difference. You choose whatever you want and then you just choose the differences between the two pictures, so there. Oh, that one just automatically clicked for me. And then that's all you do. Okay, now the one I play the most is Mahjong. Classic game, Mahjong. You connect the tiles that are similar. Um, it is a strategy game. You don't just click whatever. You kind of have to position it, but you guys know how um, if you've played Mahjong before. And then the next category we have is pick slash video. Um, there's videos, photos, iMovie, and photo booth. I have never used these three. Um, the only ones I use are photos. Mine are basically like Amy Winehouse. <laughs> All right, then we have basic, and this is kind of like daily-ish 
things. We have the App Store, Map, Settings, uh, Clock, Wallpapers. This is another app. This is where I get all my wallpapers. Tons of different wallpapers for the iPad. Um, and I have this one on my iPhone too. They have like just everything you can think of. These daily ones, I'll just scroll through and you can also search. Oh, these are cool looking. Kijiji, basically like a Craigslist in the States. You can find anything you're looking for. Cupcake. Then there's wedding cakes, cupcake carrier, cupcake stands, and it tells you the prices of them here. Baby cakes maker, $5 a free. Minnie Mouse themed decorations. This is a really cool app and you can look all over Canada. This calendar right here has kind of been transformed into my planner, so I don't use that. Then there's the iTunes store and eBay. eBay, same thing as Kijiji, I don't really need to open it, but if you guys haven't seen the ad, or the app rather, that's what this looks like. And then on the other page, we have the junk folder and these, 100%, I have never used any of these apps, not even once. So that is the ones that just generically come with the iPad, tips, podcasts, FaceTime, Game Center, Reminders, Contacts, iBooks, Newsstand, iTunes U, GarageBand, Pages, Numbers, Keynote, Mail, Messages, and Music. I've used some of these on my iPhone, but none of these I've used on my iPad. So that's why I just call it junk with the double smiley emojis. And then the very last folder is YouTube reviews. And these are uh, two apps that I've reviewed on my iPad and that is PicPal and Snups. I'll just quickly show them to you guys. I am not being paid to say this to you guys right now or anything. Kind of Instagram-like, um, very fun to look through. Ooh, what? What? Two-Faced Chocolate, okay, that's what I want for Christmas. You see, oh, oh, see, this is, this is not a good place to be. And then the other one is PicPal. You basically can take real-time selfies and then send them to people in the app. So it's kind of like Snapchat, I would say. That's what I have on my iPad. So really, this is where I go. And that's where I'm on all day, every day on my iPad. Yeah, so, ooh, Jeffree Star just uploaded. I have lots of music because I use this also when we're playing Call of Duty with Dalton's playing or I'm playing then and I'm busy on the computer then I'll just play some music on here. Trish, I love me some Trish. Ellen, why? Oh, because I watch a lot of Justin Bieber. Yeah, it's like all Justin Bieber, Justin Bieber. <laughs> That's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you in some way, shape, or form. I love my iPad. It's one of the best purchases I have ever made. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Bye, cuties.